हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स हियर इन दिस व्हिडिओ सिरीज आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कन्सेप्ट ऑफ ट्री डेटा स्ट्रक्चर बिफोर मुव्हिंग टू द कंटेंट आय वुड लाईक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स अँड कीप द बेल रिंगिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील सी वॉट डिफरंट ट्री ट्रॅव्हर्सल टेक्निक्स आर देअर सो देअर आर टू सेपरेट ट्रॅव्हर्सल टेक्निक्स बेसिकली ट्री ट्रॅव्हर्सल ऑर नॉन लिनियर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर ट्रॅव्हर्सल टेक्निक द फर्स्ट वन इज डेफ फर्स्ट ट्रॅव्हर्सल टेक्निक विच इज कॉल्ड ॲज डी एफ एस अँड अनदर वन इज ब्रेथ फर्स्ट ट्रॅव्हर्सल टेक्निक विच इज कॉल्ड ॲज बी एफ एस अंडर डी एफ एस टेक्निक इट इज फर्दर डिवायडेड इन टू थ्री वेज दे आर प्री ऑर्डर इन ऑर्डर अँड पोस्ट ऑर्डर बेसिकली दे बेस्ट ऑन द पोझिशन ऑफ रूट नोड अँड द ब्रेट फर्स्ट ट्रॅव्हर्सल टेक्निक इज नथिंग बट द लेव्हल ऑर्डर ट्रॅव्हर्सल टेक्निक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट ट्री ट्रॅव्हर्सल्स बायनरी ट्री ट्रॅव्हर्सल्स दॅन फॉर युअर रेफरन्स आय एम प्रोव्हायडिंग अ शॉर्टकट लिंक इन दिस राईट अप कॉर्नर वेअर you will get everything related to binary tree traversal techniques now let's move to the main concept of this video session is nothing but post order traversal so dear friends i am covering the binary tree traversal and mainly the post order traversal in this video session so now let's start with the post order traversal Well, post order traversal follows the sequence of first of all a left subtree then a right subtree and then a root node here in short i am explaining you the post order traversal for the given tree if a root node a is having a left child b then first of all left child b will get traverse then it will return back to the root node and then shift its control to the right subtree after moving to the right sub subtree it has to process its root node and after that again it has to return back to root node because now there is a turn to process a root node as it is post order traversal so we have done with a left then we have done with its right and then it's time to process a root node so that's why it is showing the result like b c a left right and a root node but now here you just observe that how to return back from right child to a root node how to return back from a right child to the root node that how to return back we are having a solution for this the solution is nothing but recursive and non recursive algorithms for the post order traversal from which here i am focusing on the recursive post order traversal algorithm so now let's focus on recursive post order binary tree traversal here i am giving you an algorithm for the post order traversal with recursion where this is the function post order where we supposed to pass a root node very first thing we supposed to check if my root is not equal to null then we have to perform these three steps and if my root is equal to null it means that the tree is null there is no any thing is available in your tree then you don't need to traverse it so if let's consider if my root is not null my first step is to call a post order traversal recursively by passing its left child as a root node after completion of that it will go to the next step and next step is to again call a post order function recursively by passing a right child as a, as its root node for traversal of a right subtree and after that the processing of a root node as our sequence of tree traversal in post order is first of all left subtree then right subtree and then display a root node so same thing i am explaining over here so here you just uh, uh look over here that first of all we supposed to pass or call a post order function recursively to traverse its left subtree then to traverse a right subtree again call a function recursively and after that you have to process a root node so in this way you are going to follow the steps 
now here i am going to explain you all these things with the help of example already a simple example i have explained in my previous video and in this video somehow bigger example i am going to cover so here in this uh, bottom portion i am explaining you or i'll give you the post order reversal of for a given tree as soon as uh, we will dry run the given recursive algorithm for post order reversal i'll show you how it will give the output so here every block will be having a separate set of recursive function call for the for all root nodes so here let's consider this is the window which will work for a variable root node equal to 10 as we suppose to start with a root node so here the first window whenever we are calling a function post order recursive function from our main function it will call a recursive it will call a post order function and it will go the control will transfer to this function very first thing we supposed to check whether my root node is not null yes condition is true as my root is 10 so that's why step number 1 is to call recursively post order function by passing its left child so here you can see that 10 a root node having its left child as 20 so another set of the function post order will get call and the separate window will get allotted for it and it will look like this a separate set of variables will also be created for the post order function and for that here you can see that a separate root function is also created where it will be having the value 20 as we have called the recursively function post order and uh, we have passed as a parameter left child of a current root node that is 10 is nothing but 20 so that's why it will be having a value 20 in a root node again let's check if my root is not equal to null condition is true so again call the post order function by passing its left child recursively here you can see that 20's left child is null so you just observe here what i have done so here you are calling the function recursively and it is null so as our first condition is to check whether my root is not equal to null this condition is going to be false and it will return back to the same function okay from where it is called so that's why it will return back and it will execute a next statement step number 2 is to call a post order function recursively but here now we supposed to pass the right child as a parameter as the sequence of a post order reversal is we have done with left now it's turn to process a right subtree so that's why let's call the function recursively by passing right child as a parameter and which will become a root in a new window so here we are moving to a new window and here you can see that now as we are going to pass the right child of 20 is nothing but 30 and now root is going to become as a node 30 first let's check root is not equal to null condition is true so now let's call the recursively post order function by passing left child of root node 30 here you can see that as if we are going to make this 30 as a root node its left child is 50 let's call the function and again a separate window for a post order function where root node is 50 the first condition root is not equal to null condition is true call post order function recursively by passing its left child here you can see that 50 its left child is null so that's why it will go to the another window as the right root child is null it will return back to the next statement and the next statement is to call of post order function recursively by passing its right child here you can see that 50 is having its right child as null again so it will again recursively call a function but it, as it is null it will return back to the next statement and here you can see that the next statement is nothing but the processing of root node so which one is the current root node it is 50 so what we supposed to do we supposed to process a root node so here you just observe over here i am processing a root node 50 over here after that it will go to the next statement next statement is nothing but the completion of the if statement and again it will go to the next statement and next statement is nothing but the completion of the function now as all the statements are executed it will return back to the call calling function which one is the 
uh, function from where we had made a call so it is nothing but this window so here you can see that it will return back to the same window now here after returning back to the window where root node is 30 its next statement is nothing but step 2 to call a function post order recursively by calling or by passing right child as a parameter or as a root node here you just observe one more thing is that here the right child of 30 is nothing but 60 still we have not processed 30 because for as a root node 30 we have done with its left child now it's done to move to the right child so now let's move to the right child so here again i am i am moving to one more another window where post order function call is there now my current root node is 60 and here let's check the first condition root is not equal to null here you have to check first of all whether the uh, or you have to call a function recursively by passing its left child as a parameter so now as we are passing it as a parameter it is null here you can see that 60's left child is null it will return back to the next statement next statement is again call a function recursively by passing a right child of a root node that is 60 it is null again it will go to null it will return back to the next statement and again a next statement is a to process a root node which one is a current root node it is 60 so here you can see that i am processing a root node 60 after this the next statement is the completion of if as well as the completion of post order function after completion of all these things we have to return back to the function and we have to execute a next statement as here you can see that for a root node 30 it's we have done with its left child we have done with its right child and now it's turn to process a root node and here you can see that i am processing a root node 30 and we have done with the subtree 30 here you can see that for this subtree where a root node is 30 we have first of all processed its left child then we have processed its right child and then we have processed its root node after this we have to return back to the previous root node how will you return back so that's why the recursive function will help you to return back here you can see that we have done with this function call this function was called from the window where root node was 20 and it was 30 was a right child of 20 so it will return back over here and an implicit stack helps us to perform all these tasks we the programmer never take care of all these things these things will always take care by the implicit stack so it returns back here you can see that it returns back to this particular window and it executes a next statement the next statement is the processing of a root node is nothing but 20 so here you just observe the thing that I have processed a root node 20 after this here you can see that the if condition is completed function call is also completed here after completion of this function call where it will return back it will return back from where this function was called here you can see that if the root node was 10 at that time we have called a function post order where root node was 20 as a left child of 10 so it will return back from this window to the previous function call from where it was uh, it was called by the uh, previous function so it will return back over here and it will execute an next statement by calling the post order function recursively by passing its right child now current root node is 10 and you supposed to pass the 10's right child over here is nothing but 40 now again observe the slide carefully that here we are calling a function to the post order recursively where my root node is 40 so here i have passed a right child over here and my root node is 40 here i suppose to check first of all my root node is not equal to null the condition is true call the post order function recursively by passing its left child as a parameter here you can see that left child is null so that's why it will return back to the next statement again a right child is also null it will return back to the next statement and next statement is to process a root node so which one is the root node root node is 40 here you just observe that i am processing 40 over here 
as we have done with the all the statements if will get completed post order function will get executed completely and it will return back to the function where it was called so i have to return back to the function over here where my root node was 10 because 40 was a right child of 10 and we we had made a call from 10 to 40 so that's why from now this function it will return back to the function where root node is 10 so here you can see that it is return back and it will execute an next statement to process a root node so now it's turn to process a root node 10 and here you just see or observe that i have displayed or process a root node after this this is nothing but the completion of is if statement and this is nothing but the completion of post order function so in this way how we are going to return back from its left child to a parent node from a right child to a parent node that we have done with the help of recursive function calls and recursive function call we helps us that is implicit stack helps us to return back to the previous level or to the root node or to the parent node so in this way the uh, you can dry run this post order binary tree traversal for any given tree i have taken one example with which i have i, have, I tried to explain uh, with the previous uh, video session you can go through that where it was explained with the help of simple example and now i am sure that you will be able to implement this post order traversal for given any binary tree so thank you dear friend for listening and watching my video if you like the content and the video please do not forget to give the comment please do not forget to share it with your friends if you are having any query you can ask your query in a comment box i'll try to solve your query for your reference i am providing you a shortcut link for the subscription of my channel tech talks along with a next video of this video series and the whole video series i am providing you in the form of playlist thank you friends for listening and watching video stay tuned with tech talks happy learning happy data structuring thank you